Hi, Sneak Peekers. My name is Mauricio, and we're out here in Austin Film Festival 2023. And today, we're going to check out Bike Riders. Let's get right into it. First things first, in a previous interview, you mentioned wherever you pointed the camera, there was an amazing actor doing something amazing. So I want to know, what was your favorite scene to shoot? Uh, there are a bunch of them in this film, but uh, I think probably the scene that, that most surprised me was a scene between Austin Butler and Tom Hardy. It's a scene, it's in the trailer, where Tom's character is offering Austin's character the club. And, um, you know, it's just two people talking. But when you have actors like Tom and Austin, um, they elevated it. They just turned it into something, honestly, kind of intense, kind of sexual. Um, it's You'll have to see the film to really understand what I'm talking about. But when you do see the film, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. This film is about a subculture that um, you weren't alive for when it existed. So what made you want to tell a story about this subculture specifically? I mean, really, it was it was Danny Lyon's book. Uh, it, it, it reads like a, honestly, like uh, a recipe for how to you know depict a subculture. It, it not only shows it in photos, but it actually tries to understand it through these interviews. You start to understand why these people think the way they think, why they live the way they live, and um, and it was really kind of an undeniable feeling that I got about this this really specific period in time that now is gone forever. And that's really that's kind of what the film is about. And this is your first time back in, in the director's chair since 2016 for a feature film. So what was it like coming back? Was there any rust or more nerves than usual? What was it like? Honestly, I was just so ready to make this film. Um, you know, I got to be really honest with you. No, there was no rust. Uh, it, it was like um, it was like no time had passed whatsoever. But but that's partly because I work with you know the same family of people over and over again. So that, that was a big part of it. It was like a big family reunion. And then when you have a cast like this, it's, it's just, um, it makes my job really easy. Mm -hmm. Awesome. And is there anything you haven't gotten a chance to say about this film or you would like to reiterate? Well, I don't know, you know. I just hope, uh, I just hope people come see it. Um, you know, every film has its own kind of trajectory, its own life. And uh, this feels like a film people are going to enjoy. And, uh, and so I just want as many people as possible to buy a movie ticket and go see it in a the theater because these, these motorcycles, they'll rumble you out of your seat. Mm -hmm. Awesome. And as UT film students, we're always looking for advice. And I want to be more specific with this one. What do you think in your important? What do you think in your opinion is the most important quality a student director writer should have? You just got to write and you just got to keep writing. You know, everything I have is because of, of my writing. Uh, I'm a writer first and a director second. And so if you want any control over your career, if you want control, you know, over uh, your storytelling and your art form, write. And the good news is anybody can write. Um, some people are certainly better than others, but, uh, but the harder you work at it, the better you'll get. Well, thank you so much for your time. Yeah, good luck, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Please make sure to like and subscribe if you want to keep up with our Austin Film Festival coverage. And also, check out this video right here.